it can be hard to believe. Wild animals exist in any other form than they do currently, but that's the reality. Hybrids are popping up everywhere, sending researchers and zoologists into a frenzy. From dog-wolf combinations through to plant and animal fusions, here are 10 unique hybrid animals that actually exist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number 10. Dog Slash Wolf Many people who start looking for a new dog to join their family want specific breeds. They might want a purebred German Shepherd, or a purebred Maltese, or something with equally as straightforward bloodlines. Other people prefer rescue dogs, mixed breeds, or whatever they first fall in love with. But something is capturing the attention of many dog lovers, and that's the dog and wolf hybrid. Does such a thing exist? Yes, it does. A dog-wolf hybrid is the combination of a wild wolf and a domestic dog, the results of which can be mixed both in looks and temperament. Some wolf dogs live in harmony with humans and other dogs, but others are bouncing off the walls, destructive and depressive, not quite how they should fit into society. They aren't wolves, left to roam free in the wild, but they aren't dogs, happy to please their owners and play the faithful companion. They are, as animal behaviorist Patricia McConnell put it, trapped in a never-never land of never being comfortable in their surroundings. The wolf-dog hybrid is not a breed for the faint-hearted, and they are not recommended for first-time dog owners. Many dog behaviorists don't even believe that they should exist and discourage intentional breeding. However, for now it seems, the wolf-dog is here to stay. Number 9. Zebroid A zebroid is what you call any equine that you cross with a zebra. You can then call it whatever you want, based on the combination of the two. A horse and a zebra would create a zorse, but a donkey and a zebra would result in a baby donkra. A zebroid is not an accident, but rather a product of humans tinkering with DNA. Any combinations of zebra and other equine are also rare, but have been in existence since at least the 19th century. The creation of a zebroid involves a male zebra and a female horse, donkey, or pony. Once the resultant baby is born, it is normally sterile or infertile, which means you can't breed from the hybrid. The offspring looks typically like its non-zebra parent, but it often has the stripes of a zebra. Sometimes they are confined to the legs, but they might also be on the body or neck. The lines never form across the entire hybrid's body. There have been many instances in history where zebroids have existed. During the South African War, Boers would breed ponies with zebras to form animals capable of transporting guns. One of the many reasons for this hybrid was to breed out the sleeping sickness that zebras are resistant to, but that horses and ponies are not. Number 8. Lion and Tiger what you call a lion and tiger hybrid can depend on the gender for each. For example, a male lion and a female tiger form a liger, but a male tiger and a female lion would result in a tigan. There are rumors that ligers exist in the wild, but there is no substantial evidence. There are, however, some in captivity. Hercules is recognized as the largest living non-obese cat on Earth in the Guinness Book of World Records and weighs a whopping 922 pounds. A Wisconsin animal sanctuary also used to have a male liger called Nook, who tipped the scales at 1,213 pounds. Tigans, on the other hand, can have visible characteristics of both parents, such as spots from the mother and the father's stripes. A male tigan's mane, if it grows, is also far shorter than that of its lion parentage. Initially, it was thought that the resultant offspring of tigers and lions would be sterile, but a female cub was raised into adulthood from a hybrid in the early 1940s. Number 7. Walfin what do you get when you cross a bottlenose dolphin with a false killer whale? There's no punchline, as this is no joke. You get a wolfin. A wolfin is the resultant baby of a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. Both mammals are from the oceanic dolphin family, under the toothed whale suborder, but are rare to end up mating with each other. There are rumors that wolfins exist in the wild, but there are only two thought to be in captivity. Both of these live at Hawaii Sea Life Park. One of the first wolfins in captivity was a female called Kikemalu. She gave birth to a calf, which died two days later. However, in 1991, she gave birth to another calf, a female named Pohaikeloha. Kikemalu cared for the calf herself for two years, but it was fed and hand-reared by trainers. She died at age nine. There was also another recorded wolfin at Tokyo SeaWorld in 1981. He died at around seven months old. Number six, Geep. You might think it would be easy to mate a goat and a sheep, but a geep is harder to achieve than you might think. These two animals might look similar, but a sheep has 54 chromosomes and a goat has 60. As a result, the offspring from any mating session usually is stillborn. However, that's not to say geeps don't exist, because they do. In 2000, a male sheep mated with a female goat at the Botswana Ministry of Agriculture. The hybrid had 57 chromosomes and survived. 
Its outer coat was coarse, but it also had a woolly inner coat and a sheep-like body. The geep was infertile, but that didn't stop him from trying to mount ewes. There was also another case of a male sheep mating with a female goat in New Zealand, resulting in a litter of kids and one female geep. The hybrid was fertile and mated with a ram. Number 5. Koi Wolf We now know that dog-wolf hybrids are a thing, but what about coyotes and wolves? You guessed it, they exist too. Coyotes and wolves can interbreed successfully without human intervention due to sharing the same number of 78 chromosomes. In fact, some studies show that almost the entire gray wolf population in North America possesses some DNA from coyotes, which follows a geographic line. Gray wolves from Quebec and Canada have the highest DNA percentage of coyote, while Alaska has the least. Koi wolves exist in captivity as well. The resultant offspring tend to be far smaller than wolves, but larger than coyotes. Even when birthed from a female coyote, the hybrid offspring is far larger at birth than pure coyotes. Their howl also sounds like a gray wolf, but changes to include the prominent high-pitched yipping sound more commonly associated with the coyote. What the Wildlife Center staff noticed too was that the eastern wolf and coyote hybrids were far less aggressive than pure coyotes and tended to form better social groups. They also reached sexual maturity later than pure coyotes at around two years. Number four, Savanna Cat. Have you ever felt like your standard domestic moggy wasn't fun or exciting enough? Maybe it's time to welcome a savanna cat into your home. A savanna is a hybrid between a domestic cat and a serval, which is a wild African cat. It's now the largest domesticated cat breed and has become recognized as a new registered breed. The breeding process for a savanna cat is complicated due to the picky nature of the male serval. Therefore, whenever breeding takes place, the cat will receive a filial number to represent where along the breeding chain the cat fits. An F1 cat is half serval, half domestic cat, but an F2 savanna cat can be as high as 75% serval. Sterility is also a problem in F1 and F2 breeds, but less often a problem in F5. Savanna cats make brilliant pets for those who like to be challenged. They love water, are loyal, and you can train them to walk on a leash. They can also jump as high as 8 feet onto doors and fridges and are very nosy. They are possibly as close to a dog as you can get in the cat world without actually getting a dog. Prepare to pay through the nose for this designer kitty. For F1 males cost between $12,000 and $16,000. Females can even set you back up to $20,000. Number 3. Kama A Kama is a combination of a male dromedary camel and a female llama. While you might be wondering how on earth that came to happen, or why, let us fill you in. Back in the 1990s, the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai wanted to create an animal that could produce a higher wool yield than the llama, but had the temperament, size, and strength of a camel. Through artificial insemination, the center made it happen. The first camel was born in January 1998, after tinkering with the process. The center tried to inseminate a female camel with the sperm of a llama, but it produced no offspring. They then inseminated a female llama with the male dromedary camel sperm. That was the golden ticket, and a baby was born. After four years, the first camel showed signs of being sexually mature as he tried to breed with a female llama and guanaco, which is close to a llama. However, the researchers in charge of the hybrids were worried about his poor temperament and behavior. Roll the clock forward four years, and a second camel is born, Camila. By 2008, five camas had been successfully born. So far, what researchers have been able to establish from the hybrid is that they eat plant matter and shrubs. They can also drink a significant amount of water and survive without it for extended periods. Number 2. Growler Bear If grizzly bears and polar bears weren't terrifying enough as single animals, imagine what they are like when you find a hybrid. Imagine no more, for they exist. A growler bear, pizzly bear, or nanulok is a hybrid of a grizzly bear, so far only the male, and a female polar bear. They are rare, but exist both in the wild and captivity. The first proof of the hybrid, which had only been rumors, came when an Idaho hunter, Jim Martell, shot a polar bear near Saks Harbor on Banks Island in 2006. While the bear had thick, creamy fur, reminiscent of a polar bear, something wasn't quite right. It also had a humped back, shallow face, long claws, and brown patches, which are all common traits of a grizzly bear. Shooting a grizzly bear comes with a fine of $1,000 and up to a year in jail, but it's unlikely that law counts in this case. Wildlife Genetic International conducted a DNA test, which identified the bear as a polar bear and grizzly bear hybrid. The mother was a polar bear, and the father was a grizzly bear. Just four years later, another hybrid was shot, and DNA showed it had the same mother as the previous hybrid, but a different father. Another six combinations have been found dead and alive since then, and once again, all link back to that same mother. Number 1. Green Sea Slug 
You might be wondering how a sea slug could possibly be a hybrid, but it is, and not in the way you'd expect. Instead of mating with another type of creature or slug species, the green sea slug is a hybrid of a plant. Yes, a plant. Not only does this exciting creature look like a leafy slug, but it acts like one too. It can use its own body to manufacture chlorophyll, a green pigment in plants that take energy from sunlight. Studies were undertaken to find out whether the slugs were relying on algae reserves to make the chlorophyll or whether they were doing it on their own. As it turns out, they are making it just like plants do. According to the Citadel invertebrate zoologist John Zardis, that could mean the sea slug is a fusion of a plant and animal. It's only a matter of time before human-animal hybrids will make the front page of your local newspaper. In the meantime, you'll have plenty of other crazy animal hybrids to pique your curiosity. Which one did you find the most insane? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen now. See you next time!